Hey guys, 80s horror fan 88 back here again. Um, this is a um, after Horrorcon Sheffield Horrorcon update, just to show you guys what I've had signed and uh, what I thought of the Horrorcon. Um, if I dive straight into what I've had signed and then afterwards I'll, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Um, right, first off, I had the screen grab, like I said I was going to, signed up by Heather Langenkamp. Um, I'll tell you what I thought of the guest quickly at the end, so I'll just go through this first. Um, and she signed that up for me. Um, then I met Tom, or Thom, <laughs> T, it's spelt different to Tom, T-O-M, but Tom Matthews. Um, and he signed this up to me, Ross. Um, Jason Belongs in Hell, uh, really nice guy, but yeah, he signed that one up. Then good old Sid Haig signed uh, my Trick or Treat Studios mask on the head, and then he signed my 18-inch uh, necker on the stomach, and then he signed my figure there, as you can see, um, I wanted to get signed. So that was basically uh, what I had signed in here. Um, I shall show you the bits that I think are really cool. Um, now, I've got some more bits in here to, to do another update on. Some masks and new shelving and some <laughs> other bits and pieces in here. But I'll do that on, on another occasion. I'll just show you what else I've got at Horicon. Right, bear with me. Right, so this is my prize piece. Graham Humphreys, the guy who did all the wicked art um, in the day. Um, was there and he had some of these Nightmare on Elm Street quads um, it was £100 for, for the quad poster um, which is artist approved and signed by Graham himself lovely bloke, he signed it there he has signed it down there in pencil as well but I got him to do it in in uh, silver sharpie and then of course <laughs> these, these posters are mega rare the artist approved Graham Humphreys of this particular Nightmare on Elm Street 1 poster um, so I couldn't say no it's a real thick good quality poster um, so I got him to sign that, and then I also got Heather to sign it, Heather Langenkamp, who was Nancy, never sleep again, Heather Langenkamp, Nancy. Now this I got framed um, today, and this is pride and place, I'm not going to lie, that is like one of the best, I love it, I just love it. Missy said, oh, you're not putting all this horror stuff, I said, no, this is going in the front room. <laughs> I said, I love that to pieces, that is awesome. So yeah, I had that bit signed up, and then also whilst we were walking around, hold on, this is like my front room movie corner, which uh, I will show you in depth at some point. While we were walking around, I saw this, which was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, like media box. It comes with a t-shirt, apron, all sorts. Now this was marked up at 90, um, but I managed to get it for 85. I like to support trade up there, because I want it to sort of keep going. So I picked that up and I want to get it signed at some point by Bill Mosley down here. Um, so that's really cool. And then I picked up a couple of Funkos to finish off my my Funko um, Funko Pop wall <laughs> side of things. Um, I haven't actually showed half of this off in here. It's a, a different, different video. And then what I'll do is I'll just get this out and show you on video. Two seconds. Then I had my Wolf Creek, 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 Wolf Creek quad movie post post there. What the hell's going wrong? Um... <laughs> Uh, poster signed up as well by um, John Jarrett and he put two Ross you pump pommy in uh, you know what the rest says <laughs> John Jarrett he was a laugh um, so that was another bit and then on this wall here I had another poster that I got um, also signed up by Heather Langkamp Nancy there so that's that's my signed bits and pieces oh no it isn't actually I have got one more I'll, I won't pause it for this I'll take you in here to show you this um, Right, and then up here, I had, I picked up this book for £100, because it is quite rare, The Devil's Rejects, Director Skip, oh my god, I'm literally, I'm not drunk, I sound it, I think I'm just overtired, uh, it was 230 odd miles up to Horicon and back and I'm still feeling jet lagged, car lagged, um, signed up by Sid Haig as well, which I'm pretty sure is a one off, I don't, I don't see many of these signed up by uh, Sid, so yeah so basically overall um my views and opinions quickly so yeah i'm i'm really impressed that that i got to go sorry about how messy this room is i've still got loads more to do in here um that i got to go to sheffield to horicon um i couldn't have missed it for the world knowing that sid hake and nancy heather langenkamp and john jarrett were there i didn't sort of 
Yeah, there was others there. And, and yeah, they, they had their own fan base within their own rights. Massive. I know Elvira. I don't know her real name, but she had a massive uh, fan base there. People signing coffins. Oh, Christ. But I, I went for what I went for. Um, and, and you know, I, I spent four or five hundred pounds there on signed stuff. I mean, the the poster in the front room was a hundred alone. So it adds up. I mean, Sid Haig, five signatures were... Um, no, four, sorry. Four signatures were a hundred and... Nancy did a deal on Heather Langenkamp even did a deal five for a hundred so that was pretty cool I mean it's to the point now where I'm well impressed I'm, I'm sort of going to try and get to all the horror cons in Britain this year I think there's about another seven um, up and down the country and I'm going to try and get to them all and get loads of stuff signed get Kane Hodder to sign up some of my you know um, my mask and figures when when I go to the uh, next one which will be cool so I mean regarding the Sheffield one it was I went Saturday, this first time I've been to this one in Sheffield because of the distance, but I can honestly say no queuing issues, everyone was pleasant, everyone there, sense of community, horror community was great, you just, everyone's just so, everyone will chat to you, uh, even my missus who isn't a massive horror fan, you know, chatting away to, to people's missuses and that, and it was just a sense of community in the horror community is phenomenal, and I just, you know, Love, love being part of this YouTube thing. Everyone's awesome. I, you know, no, there's no malice or look. My collection's better than yours. It, it's, it's just brilliant. It's just, you know, take, take people as they come. And I can honestly say I've met some good mates, good friends via, via YouTube. And yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, Horrorcon was great. Really enjoyed it. Um, enjoyed meeting a few people from YouTube. Um, and yeah, it was really good. Like, and regarding the guest, John Jarrett was a funny guy. Like he could do stand-up comedy, not horror. You know, you got a photo with him, him strangling me. He's like, "You're a big bastard, aren't you?" And like, everything he was just great. He taking the mick out of this bloke's jumper, and oh, Heather was lovely. And and yeah, she she really was chatting to my missus and Sid Haig. He was lovely. I mean, to come over here at his age, fair play to that guy. Top respect to that guy. Um, you know what? What? What a guy! You know, is everything about him. Like, he's sort of up there with with my top horror icon, him and Freddie and Jason. So, yeah, no, it was it was awesome. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. There'll be loads more updates to come soon. Um, I just want to say, yeah, yeah, no, it was a it was a great time. And if it's on next year, I advise you to go Saturday or Sunday. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. Cheers, guys.